Argos is, of course, a British department store. But in ancient Greece, it was something very different. A famous city-state that many ancient Greeks believed the fabled Macedonian Argiad dynasty originated. Unfortunately, though, it is known mainly for one thing, and that is being the place where poor old Pyrrhus met his end, being bonked over the head by a roof tile thrown by an old woman. More on that in this video. The unfortunate reality of that event is that it led to the Antigonids taking control of Argos for several decades, and more importantly, one of the most influential, the bravest, the most charismatic, and intelligent roof tiles in the world lost its life that day, known simply as Tylee McTileface. F's in the chat, bros. So today, we are going to be restoring the glory of Argos, regaining our independence and fighting our Antigonid oppressors, all in the name of those incredibly sturdy Argive roof tiles. So here we are as Argos guys and I've been reliably told that this is a pretty difficult faction So once again, we are on very hard very hard and I am not going to reload We're just gonna take what is given to us So fingers crossed to the gods that this is gonna be a good army that we get given at the start Let's see once again through the nerve-wracking phase Let's see what we get. Well fingers crossed guys here we go. We've got 6,000 in the bank Making minus 2,422. Who are we at war with? We're at war with the Macedonians. We're neutral with Sparta. Okay. And it looks like we have a decent chunk of an army. <laughs> um, okay. All missile troops. And pretty much all missile troops again. Only one guy who is 49... Let's take the candidate for adoption if we can. Okay, that's good. That is good. That is that is good. We, we managed to take that. We are going to accept extreme mode, of course, and uh, get through all of these messages. We are at war with the Antigonids. We have confident commander for Achillo Doros. Let's have a look at him now. He is faithful, considerate, and pessimistic, well-supplied, an adult learning administrator, green commander, confident commander... Okay, so I think confident leader as well. So I think he's going to be the best option, definitely, for a uh, little uh, excursion towards Corinth. But yeah, we have Argos. We have Prasai over here. Minus 1% growth in Prasai as a town. Argos is simply just a large town. It is growing. And we do have quite a few buildings in there, honestly. And nothing in Prasai, really. So, we do have an Argive Epilectoi ready to go right from the off. So, that is what we're going to recruit straight away. I mean, what is the point of recruiting anything else? We just have such a low recruitment capability that it's going to be difficult. But uh, let's pop those barracks in there. And then, is there anything else we can build up here? We've got missile weapons or we got law. So, let's go for Artemis for the missile weapons. Well, if I had a little bit more confidence, I would probably split this army up and go for some go to Hermione, some go to Corinth. But Corinth is such a good city that I think we've got to go for it straight away. I'm kind of wondering whether they'll take a draw out battle, but it looks like not. So uh, let's get those guys in there. Actually, do we have anyone? We have a, uh, a diplomat and that is all. So I'm wondering whether we can get an alliance with the uh, Greek city-states to our west and see whether they will protect us from that side. Let's see. I don't know whether they are... Okay. Fantastic. They are now allied with us, so that should help us out quite a bit. I'm also going to try and talk to the Achaean League and see if we can get uh, a trade rights with them. We probably will go to war with Sparta, so I'm not too worried about those guys for now. But first things first, we need to secure Corinth and this little section, and then I think we'll be good. So let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see if the Antigonids have a big army ready to uh, take us on early game. Well, we are now thoroughly in the red, guys, after that first end turn. Not that I really mind. It looks like we have got this bug slash glitch again, this upkeep bug, which I've noticed with a few of the... Uh, 
emergent factions. I don't believe it actually takes that into account. So I think this is actually just not being taken into account. It just shows up on the turn expenditure. So we actually don't need to worry about that um, at all, really. Yeah, you can see that's minus 4,000. So if this was the case, if this was real, we would be making like... Uh, well, it's saying minus 4,000 plus... I guess that does actually add up to that. But I think... I think what we are doing is accurate. It's uh, it's just a bug, but um, we'll find out, guys, when we take Corinth, won't we? So let's get into Corinth. I don't think it'll be too difficult, but uh, it should be quite a nice little siege battle. We had a bit of desertion last uh, last end turn, which is a bit weird because uh, this has our glorious faction leader. But let's get into the battle, guys. The battle for a city as our first conquest. Let's go. Well, at the moment, our army is... It's okay, but there is a severe lack of infantry. That is going to be our main issue going forward. So we're going to try and set up Corinth as a recruitment hub as soon as we get access to this city once we've taken it. But yeah, we really have a massive lack of infantry in this army. And that is the only thing that is really going to uh, you know, affect us in the long run. But... Uh, for now, let's get up on the walls and see what damage we can do from there. Well, the AI is being a little bit dumb with one of the units, the Mercenary Hoplite. So we are going to get our guys all the way over here to try and fire down onto them. And we're just going to fire at them as much as possible. So, of course, we have taken these towers, so they're firing on them as well. So if they want to just stand there and get absolutely bullied, that is absolutely fine by me. Here come the Javelins, guys. Here come the Javelins. Lumineck. It's quite savage. It's quite savage. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> These poor guys. What are they doing, man? Well, that is one of their units completely destroyed. And all we have left is a Peltas and a General. Honestly, I think the best thing for us to do is just to do that with our cavalry. So, um, yeah, let's go. Well, they decided to come off the town square with both the General and the Peltasts. So we're going to try a cheeky charge here. I think this is going to work. They might get a javelin off, but I don't think that's really going to save them. Look at that. I'm hoping we can break these guys. Oh, they're instantly broken. Let's go then. Let's kill as many as we can before they get back to the town square. There we go. Pretty much all dead. Now we're going to attack the general's bodyguard and see whether we can kill him. Obviously, we didn't get a charge off on him, but uh, we should be able to kill him relatively easily fact let's uh let's chill out for a second let's come back and we're gonna go for a charge again well the general's bodyguard decided to chase us down that's okay i don't mind that at all but uh, there go the peltas we'll be able to break them pretty easily again there we go and all we'll have left to kill is two general's bodyguard nice and easy we lost a little bit of cavalry in the battle but uh honestly it's not too bad there we go. Lost 80 men, killed 244. A glorious victory, and the city of Corinth is ours. So that is a good start. That is a good start. And I think, honestly, the best thing we can do is just occupy Corinth. Now, we're not going to get a huge amount of money for that. But as you can see, that has catapulted our income up to minor, minus 548, which is very nice indeed. Um, and we did lose a few of the Greek Peltas, so I'm wondering... Mm, no, I think the Greek Slingers are the ones that we should uh, be getting rid of. I could have scouted out with this guy, actually. So let's scout out over here. Looks like they don't have much in these cities. So if that is the case, we will just go for, straight for Hermione. And we're going to get into that one straight away. Macedonian Noble for Achillo Doros now. And okay, yeah, Corinth isn't too happy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I wonder whether they would be happy with this guy in there. No, they're actually more upset. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll ignore it for now. If we have to come back and start governing it, it should be okay. But if we just have a look at these settlement details here, you can see 30% unrest in there, which will go away over time. That is mainly there just because we have conquered the settlement. So that should go away. But um, it may not. Let's uh, let's find out, guys. Well, here comes Sparta. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, well, uh, yeah. I guess that's a decla declaration of war, my friends. The most generous. Unless they do that. Okay, I'll take it. 
We'll be allied to Sparta for a little bit while we deal with Macedon, shall we say. Let's see if Hermione will take us positive. I am just going to auto-resolve that. Shouldn't be many men. Yeah, 24 men. Not bad at all. I am going to enslave Hermione. And we're going to leave behind... Ooh. Probably one of these Akontista units. And we'll leave behind another one in Trozan. For this turn and this turn only, we are going to put an Argive Epileptoi into Corinth. That should make them happy. There we are. Happy enough, my friends. And uh, yeah, let's uh, keep going on our roof tile journey. Trying to make the roof tiles great again and throwing them at the uh, Antigonids. <laughs> Even though we didn't throw them at the Antigonids, we threw them at Epirus. But anyway, <laughs> it's all for the memes, my friend. It's all for the memes. Oh, hello, Sparta. Um, yeah, great. Looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, I guess we've got to show them the roof tile, haven't we, my friends? Well, let's uh, auto-resolve Trozan 2. 42 men, not bad at all. Let's enslave there as well. Let's leave behind this Akontistai again. And what we're going to do is we're going to gather all our forces, all our decent forces. These guys as well. And we're going to come around to attack this Spartan army. Now, I'm assuming this is an army that they were using right at the start. So it'll be full of Helots, I imagine. Not anything good. The only thing that's going to be slightly scary is their general's bodyguard. So, yeah, we're in a precarious situation here, but I think if we can defeat this army, Sparta can get taken out pretty quickly. They have actually built a wall at Sparta. And look at that. We now have some money. Some money, guys. <laughs> Great. It's a lot better than the Silesian campaign, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's uh, go after Leonidas over here. And as you can see, pretty darn awful. Spartan cavalry, of course, but we'll absolutely wipe the floor with them. I think this is going to be a bit of a walkover. It depends on how many Javis their units can get off. But remember, we have Epilectoi, which are unreal units. So uh, let's go and let's crush Sparta. Well, here we go, guys. We are nearly into the action here. Don't know why they've decided to uh, stand down the hill and not on top of it. We actually started all the way over there, and I thought they would start up here. And they've kind of started on the hollow. I, I don't really know why that is. Right, guys. Time to charge down the hill. I'm going to try and trap their general. We're going to try and get through these uh, helots over here. And I'm going to bring this guy down. And with the rest of the cavalry, we're going to engage the Spartan cavalry. We should absolutely shred them, especially with our general's bodyguards. They are a terrible cavalry unit. And with our prodromoy, we're going to go after his light cavalry, uh, sorry, light infantry uh, and archers and all that sort of thing. Make sure they can't get away. There we go. Spartan cavalry should be absolutely shredded. There we go. Fantastic. Well, this is quickly turning into a bit of a bloodbath. The only thing we need to worry about now is Leonidas himself. So, yeah, just the only issue is, of course, without uh, too many um, light cavalry. It is hard to catch up to these guys. <laughs> it is really hard to catch up to them. Well, here we go. Glorious charge down the hill into the back of the crypt here. I think this is going to be an instant route for them, honestly. There we go. Fighting to the death, though. We don't want that. So we will let them try and escape. And what I'm going to do is try and form these guys back up without the cavalry, please. There we go. Try and form them up. So that these guys can escape, and then we can also engage the uh, general's bodyguard. Well, there we go, straight into the Thurio Foroy. We're going to try and surround him with our guys in here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to leave a bit of an opening so that we can get all of our cavalry into the action. I have left them resting for a little while. You've got to remember this Spartan general's bodyguard is a very good unit. Insanely good, in fact. But our Epilectoi are equally awesome. So, yeah, let's get these guys set up, ready to charge, and then we'll go for it. Well, here we go, guys. They are already wavering. I'm going to rally the men so our general doesn't die. And let's go. This should be it. Easy does it. Easy does it, my friends. Look at that. Oh, my God. Absolutely crushed. Absolutely crushed. 
Well, that was truly, truly brutal. That's what you get for bringing Helots to an Epilectoi fight, Sparta. We have thrown plenty of roof tiles at you today, and we have become victorious. Let's go. Look at that. Glorious stats for all the men. Come on. Smashing Sparta. Well, a lot of people have said to me that this start is really hard, but honestly, compared to Paphlagonia and Silesia so far, this is just so nice. This is enjoyable. This is fun. This is not pure pain. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get onto Sparta. While they've taken guys out of the city, we cannot ignore sieging that down. And all they have is a general and some Spartan cavalry in there as of now. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. It's just so nice compared to uh, what we've faced in the past. God damn it. God damn it. It is a lot nice. <laughs> well, Macedon has besieged down Corinth. That's not ideal because that has tanked our income somewhat. Um, but, I mean, we can't ignore this opportunity to take out most of Sparta anyway. They still have the island over here. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to see. Can we do a night battle? Let's see. No. But yeah, the, the, the main issue is those general's bodyguards. They are very, very good. But what I'm thinking is, if we can get over to those guys, they're going to come in from the far bottom left. So we want to be as left as possible with some of our men. And then just run into the city with the rest of them. I think we're going to be okay. Um, but let's find out. Let's find out. The Siege of Sparta, my friends. Sparta with a wall as well. Well, here we go, guys. We've set up on the left, because I do believe they are coming in from the left. So I'm going to send all of my cavalry over there. We're also going to send our Argive Epilectoi, because we need to uh, have some infantry to fight the general. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just send one. Well, here we go, straight into the action then, charging the uh, Helot Javelin men. The problem is, once, they, uh, once they're broken, they're really hard to chase down outside of the city. But they are fighting to the death, so that actually does help us out here. So that's good. Right, let's come back, and we're going to get our Argive Epilectoi up here to engage their general. And then, of course, we will uh, we will charge him. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Well, there we go. We've caught up with the Javelin Men and Slingers now. So I think we can go for the General's Bodyguard. Let's make sure... We rally so our generals don't die. That is the main thing. Our general's at the back there too. So that is good. Oh, look at that. Glorious charge. Glorious charge. Let's do that one more time. One more time, guys. Here we go. Nice little charge. Straight into the back of them. They're down to uh, 12 men. They're now broken. Fantastic. Let's try and kill them all. That is a glorious little result for us. Well, the main thing here is if we can get these guys off the town square, which looks like we're managing to do. I would just love it if you guys could be in formation rather than as basically a rabble there. That's pretty terrible form from yourselves, guys. Pretty terrible form. What I'm going to do now is kill these Helot Javelin men. I'm going to get this guy into the city and see if we can start taking out some of that Spartan cavalry. Well, there we go. The Spartan cavalry has engaged the fight. So we're going to get all of our guys into the town square too. Uh, and then try and charge them in the back. Whilst also charging the Spartan general in the back. Come on, guys. That's the wrong way. I said this way. Uh, so we're going to charge the Spartan general in the back with our Epilectoi. Let's see whether that works. Looks like the cavalry has decided that it's time to party with them. But that should be an easy fight overall. So even on even uh, the Spartan cavalry on very hard is pretty difficult to kill, guys. Oh my days! Should have seen the amount of uh, the amount of men that we had to uh, had to charge in there just to kill them. So now what we're going to do is try and push these guys off the town square and then try to break them. So come on, boys, let's go. Or we can just wait the two minutes fifty, but that is risky because there is a chance that they won't. That they will get back on the town square. Especially as we're pushing either side of them. Well, there we go. We didn't actually have to wait the full amount of time. But nearly. Because uh, the general decided to rout in the end. But yeah, we killed a lot more than we lost. 
That's always the main thing, guys. That's always the main thing when you're on these terrible, terrible starts. If you can be as efficient as possible with your men, that is the main thing. Because you have nowhere to recruit from, really. You've got no money to retrade and recruit. So you've got to be, you know, really, really careful with everything that you do with your troops. So that is the main thing. As long as you are killing a lot more than you are losing, it was worth it when you're on one of these terrible starts. So let's go. Sparta is now ours. Let's go. And I think we shall enslave Sparta for the time being. I'm going to keep the military buildings in there as well because I think they are going to help us out in the long run. Now, we've got a choice to make here. And... These guys aren't going to build a ram for the next turn at least. So I think I think we just have to take out Githion first before anything else. So let's go for Githion. Let's get them uh, that siege down. Doesn't look like they've got much there. So that should be good. So a candidate for adoption. I am going to accept that definitely. So that is going to reduce our income by quite a lot. Um... But yeah, once uh, Corinth is able to trade again, we should be back up in income quite substantially. Because at the moment, I don't believe there'll be any trade, will there? No, no trade at all. So yeah, we do need to save up though, because Argos is ready to upgrade. And we need 6,400 for that. But first things first, let's take Githion. I'm probably going to do this and edit it out, guys. So uh, let's go. Should be... It's actually not going to be that easy with two with the Spartan general in there. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to be painful, but let's see what we can do. Well, there we go, guys. Githion is ours. Pretty brutal battle, honestly, but mainly because of their general's bodyguard, who was pretty savage in the end. Did pretty well. So, uh, a good little battle, though. And again, Githion is ours, so Sparta is nearly dead. Nearly, nearly dead. <laughs> well, let's also... I think we'll just occupy Githion because it's only a town. So that's going to allow us to get that in there. Then we can get uh, Argos next time. Let's leave behind the Greek Peltasts. Oh, we don't start with any ships. Wait, that's neutral? That's the, the brigands, bro. We are neutral... We are neutral with brigands. What? I have never seen that before. We are neutral. We're neutral with brigands. What, bro? You okay? Game? Has anyone ever experienced this before? Please let me know. It looks like this is all cavalry. Well, that's okay then. So we can take our time getting back to them if it is only cavalry. You've still got six turns to go. But I have never seen that before in my life. Neutral with rebels. Is that because we kind of start as rebels? I've never, never seen that, bro. Let's have a look. Yeah, all the rebels. What about like rebels just randomly like over here? Neutral. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to question it. Okay. <laughs> and Messene has attacked us. Brilliant. Thank you, Messene. Thank you for that. Well, I've checked the Macedonian army and they actually do have a Greek archer and they have got a ram now. So I am going to attack them. Looks like they're going to stand up and fight. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's that's fine. That's fine. We need to worry about this a little bit more, I think. <laughs> well, I don't think this is going to be too fun a battle. I mean, I don't think it's going to be horrendous. But I don't think it's going to be that fun, especially with the uh, the light cavalry that they have. I mean, it's all going to be based on cavalry. And two of these are pretty large general's bodyguards, bigger than ours. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, here we go, straight into the action. The main thing is going to be trying to get his cavalry to charge my spearmen. I think we can do that. How damaging that's going to be, I don't know. I think it's going to be quite tough to deal with them, especially the Tarantines. Although, I do want these uh, slingers up here to deal with the Tarantines themselves. So, I'm wondering 
if we can get into that general's bodyguard. That's going to be quite helpful for us. I'm also going to come around this way. If we can engage the Tarantines, that's going to be very helpful indeed. There we go. Straight into the action with the general's bodyguard. Remember, we can retrain probably after this fight. So that is going to be our main sort of uh, thing that we want to do. Goddamn Tarantines are going to be so annoying to deal with. So... Yeah, let's get into his other general's bodyguard while we can. You guys need to keep on engaging them. I don't mind taking a few jabbies from them for now while we deal with this other general's bodyguard straight in the side of that unit. So we should do a very good job there. Make sure you're firing at them. Make sure you guys are firing at them too. If we can take him out, then we can go into the second unit uh, and then we'll be good. I don't mind losing a few more progemoy than normal as well. But yeah, there's this to four right. That's going to be painful, but unfortunately it has to be done. Well, there goes the Tarantines and the General's Bodyguard. The Tarantines actually withdrew in the end. So let's see if we can uh, make sure we kill this General's Bodyguard. Looks like he's going to get away. So both of them are going to get away, which is a little bit annoying. There we go. There we go. We won, but uh, yeah, quite costly battle in the end. But we are very close to retraining. So let's go and do that. And we have defended Corinth. Which, of course, is a good result. Well, guys, I don't think we've got that much defensible stuff against the Messene. But we're going to try. We're going to try and defend there. We are recruiting another Argive Epilecti. In fact, I might even go for a standard Greek Hoplite as well. We just need more men to fill the armies. And, of course, the Antigonids have decided to siege down Corinth again. Now, I don't think it'll take them one turn. It might take them two turns. At least maybe three turns to build a ram. So let's see what happens. That has also tanked our income somewhat because we are still saving up to build this governor's palace. But uh, <laughs> we'll get there in the end, guys. We'll get there in the end. Let's see what happens with Messene. Well, another general. Let's absolutely accept him. So we are running the risk slightly of general stacking here. Um... Yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, we might have to just go and deal with those guys with our generals if this goes badly wrong, which it may do. Uh, let's first of all have a look at what they have. Okay. It's not too bad. But it's not amazing. I think we can take them, especially with our Argive Epilecto. We've got more infantry. They do have some Prodromoi. But yeah, where do we want to... Who do we want to attack with, though? I want to attack with them. Okay, there we go. This is going to be better. This is going to be better. Right, let's beat Messene back, guys. Let's go. Well, this is potentially the worst battle map we could have come on to. <laughs> Covered in trees and a massive hill as well for them. Ah, Well, that's not ideal, but uh, <laughs> let's see what we can do. Well, here we go. Straight into the action, guys. We're going to engage them all across the front line if we can. Then I'm going to try and use my cavalry to our advantage. Remember, we do have better infantry overall. So that is going to be our main advantage here. Although we are on very hard. So whether that infantry does actually perform better or not is going to be an interesting one. That is a huge blob right there. So uh, let's get into it. And let's see what we can do. Looks like they're sending their Akontisti out in front, which is a rather a big error by them. Let's throw our Javis. And uh, in fact, our Thurio 4, if we can get them round, that'd be amazing. It's incredibly hard to see anything. And also, we are right in the corner of the map. Not my choice. The AI's choice, guys. So uh, don't accuse me of hookboxing. Uh, but yeah, that was the AI's choice. Looks like we are losing slightly in the center because we are having to fight a lot of Akontisti, which, yeah, rather dumb, but um, it's okay. Let's go through and take out their missile troops, I think, would be the best option for us. They do have some mercenary Thurio Foroi here. Let's see if we can uh, flank that. Okay, here we go. What is this? This is a bodyguard. Didn't even see that. That's the problem with the trees, guys. And before you say it, 
when you press space on RAS, it doesn't get rid of the trees. So, uh, yeah, it's not it's not because of that. Let's see if we can just dip into the Prodromoy here. If we can catch one of them napping, that should bring them in to fight us. There we go, and we'll kill them, get rid of them. You guys, let's get you here and firing into the enemy if possible. Come on, boys, get a move on, for God's sake. Right, cavalry time. Let's see what we can do. Straight into the Greek slingers. You guys, I want you into those Greek hoplites. Our Epilecto should be winning, and it looks like... Mm, these these guys have hardly even lost a man, so I guess that Akontistai tactic was actually a good one. Um, <laughs> surprisingly enough, look at all their guys run away. It's so annoying. I hate the, like, the, 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 the missile troops. <laughs> really annoying. But anyway, let's get into the general charging him in the back. So we should get a good charge off on him. And if we can kill him, I think we win this battle. And we should be able to. We got a great charge off on him. Killed 15 of his men already. But there goes some of their Akontistai fighting to the death. And I think a lot more will go once we've killed that general. They keep bringing their archers really close. There goes the Messene King. So let's turn around and get into uh, some of these boys. See if we can catch them. That should then force... Oh, my God. Yep, they're all going. They're all going. They're all running now. They're all running. Fools. Fools. Even the hoplites are starting to break. There we go. We are catching some of these guys out as well. Very good. Let's see if we can chase them down. And then we should be able to break everyone else. Very nice indeed, guys. Very nice indeed. Well, we managed to break the lines after we killed the king. It's been quite brutal, but this Greek hoplite, you can see, is still just sticking in there. So, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Mind you, we've got two Argiv guys here. Everyone is exhausted from this battle, which is highly understandable, I've got to say. <laughs> but we are just going to continue chasing them down. Unfortunately, that Arcantista is probably going to get a good, uh, a good escape. But... Um, in the end, it's fine. I think we'll have killed enough anyway. Well, there we go, guys. That actually might be enough to fully destroy them. As long as we kill both generals. But I can't remember whether we killed the other one. I don't think we did. But that is still a very good victory. Projimoy doing a lot of kills. Mainly on the, uh, you know, chasing people down. But these are going to be 101. Very nice. Well, a glorious victory. Great KD. Let's go, my friends. Let's go for the roof tile. Well, here comes the general. I managed to put one of my guys outside the city. I accidentally sent one of these guys up to Sparta thinking about when we're going to be besieging down Messene. So that was a very dumb error. But uh, we might manage to do something here. I don't think we're going to beat the Chalka Speedes. But if we can destroy their ram, that's the only thing that's going to save us here, I believe. Well, here we go. The only hope is that the towers destroy the ram. But we've got to hope that they, they burn it. Come on, boys. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, a victory. There we go. Fantastic. We even killed 43 as well. Nice. <laughs> well done, Macedon. Well done. Very clever indeed of you. Uh, yeah. I think I'll take that from Sparta. I don't have any designs on their island at the minute. But yeah, we'll, uh, that'll give us uh, 9,000 denarii as well. Very nice indeed. Well, I think I'm going to stick this guy in Corinth. It might dissuade them from continuing to siege it down. Macedon has came and sieged us down there. They have gone into Messene. I don't want to deal with that right now. So what I might do is go after Megalopolis instead. Either way, it's going to be a pretty bloody battle, I've got to say. But we now have some cash. And I think, honestly, guys, we're probably going to end it there. I think we've survived. We've not quite thrived yet. But I would say, you know, the end of this campaign would be taking most of the Peloponnese and being in a strong position. And we've taken half of the Peloponnese so far. We have survived. It's a lot of bouncing around in this campaign. But honestly, it's not too bad. It wasn't awful. Let's do some of the buildings that we need to do while we're here. And also bolster our army. So, get you. 
Let me get you. And was there anywhere else that we could recruit? I don't think so at the moment. But instead of worrying about that, let's build that so we can actually recruit. And then with the rest of our money, let's build some farms or some like sort of farming buildings. Ooh, maybe if we don't mm, not quite build a port there. But both of those buildings are going to provide a little bit of income. So that has been a really good boost for us there. So guys, a nice little end to this campaign. We fought bloodily for the lands that we do have now. And we've beaten back the Macedonians several times. If you do want to see a second and complete part of this series and make sure we do get to 100 likes and I will do a second part. Let me know that you guys are actually interested in continuing this series. But anyway, thank you very much for watching guys. It's been a pleasure as always and once again big thank you to Zero Suit Samus, to Pascal and to David D as the channel members. If you are interested, a link is down in the description below. But without further ado guys, I will see you all again on the next video.